Hello, everyone. This is Tom Fox. I would like to welcome you to the Sunday Book Review. The Sunday Book Review is the series where I discuss books which impact the compliance practitioner, the legal professional, and the business professional. I hope you will enjoy this episode. Welcome to the Sunday Book Review for December 6, 2020. Today, we take a look at uh, top uh, mind-opening books, business books for 2020 as laid out by Forbes. First up, Doing Agile Right, Transformation Without Chaos by Daryl Rigby, Sarah Elk, and Steve Barres, all from Bain Consultants. While many books on Agile focus on particular Agile methods and practices in software development, here the authors address the broader topic of becoming an Agile enterprise. It shows how Agile thinking is being applied to every aspect of its business, to innovation, to operations, to the back office functions, to corporate headquarters, to top management, and even the Agile process itself. The book shows a large firm can apply the Agile mindset and methods to transform itself in an orderly fashion. In some ways, the book is an instance of corporate anthropology. It offers insights into human behavior in the Agile enterprise, including cultural meaning, norms, and values. It documents what life is like for the executive and staff in an Agile enterprise, and it reflects the kinds of things that are said and done in these enterprises, noting how they are different from a 20th century bureaucracy. Next up, a book about Amazon. Working Backwards, Inside Stories and Secrets from Inside Amazon by Bill Carr and Colin Breyer. In the 20th century, planning typically looked at competitors and then sought to create a future that will enable uh, businesses to stay ahead of the competition. By contrast, the 21st century management does the opposite. It starts with customers and works backwards. In this book, the authors uh, both held important leadership roles at crucial moments in Amazon history. They bring not only their bring out what is the unique corporate culture of Amazon, but also illustrates how this culture was built through fundamental principles, processes, and practices of 21st century management. It's a deep dive into the world's one of the world's most interesting companies. Next up, uh, Tesla, how Elon Musk and company made electric cars cool and remade the automotive industry by Charles Morris. It's amusing to listen to Wall Street pundits talk about tech companies as though Tech firms constitute a separate sector. It resembles how someone in the early 20th century would have sounded if they were talking about electricity companies. Just as all companies in the early 20th century had no choice but to become electricity companies, so all firms today have no choice but to uh, put <clears throat> give priority to bytes over atoms and become technology companies. Bytes are quicker, cheaper, lighter, and ultimately more valuable. Uh, if you don't change, you're going to die, basically. So, uh, thus, a car has gone from being a transportation device to becoming a computer on wheels. The quality of the car's infotainment system has become at least as important as its driving characteristics in determining a car's interest to customers. The automobile industry is at an inflection point in which software-based innovation is being <clears throat> beginning to take over the electromechanical aspects of the automobile. While executives see the future as electrical and digital, they often miss that new technology has to be managed differently, a key insight for compliance. Although they missed this for many years, the stock market has made it embarrassingly clear with the valuations, uh, <coughs> capitalization valuations. How Tesla is able to move so quickly and much more nimbly is taken in this book. This month on 31 Days to a More Effective Compliance Program, I take up the topic of training and communications. This is the last month of the year, so this will be the last series of the nuts and bolts of compliance. Over on the Compliance Life, this month I feature Kim Yapchai, the Chief Ethics and Compliance Officer and Chief Sustainability Officer at Tenneco. She has a fascinating career path and journey through compliance. I know you will enjoy it. Also, Check out the Wirecard Saga, a new podcast offering where with my Kyle Ryder Gordon, we take a look at the Wirecard fraud in a very deep way.